Hello dear students, today we're going to work on unit 1, lesson 1 which is mass and weight and this lesson is designed for grade 6. So let's get started. Well, first off I would like to ask you this question. Is there any difference between mass and weight? So what's the difference between the word mass and the word weight? You have studied mass before in your science book and you studied the word weight before in your math book. Do you know the difference? Well, by the end of this lesson, you should be able to Number 1. Determine the meaning of mass and weight Number 2. Understand the tools and the units of mass and weight Number 3. Compare between mass and weight In addition, understand the factors that affect the weight So, let's get started I would like you guys to look at this picture As you can see, you have a balance here So, why do I have a balance for you guys? Because I would like to ask you this question which is, what is mass? What is mass, guys? So, when I ask you this question, you have to ask, ask yourself, what did I study before about mass? So, I'm going to give you here like 10 seconds. Well, yes. Mass is the amount of matter in one object. So, when I ask you this question, what is mass? You got to tell me that it's the amount of matter in one object. Yani, for example, if I have, for Apples, عندي مثلا 3 apples فأنا بتكلم الأمount بتاعي هو إيه هو 3 apples لكن لما باجي أقول الماس بتاعي هو عبارة عن إيه ما بقولش أنا عندي 3 apples بنقول إيه بقى ساعتها بنقول أنا عندي مثلا for example like 500 grams of apples عندي 600 grams of apples etc يبقى لما بتكلم في الماس تمام أنا بتكلم أنت عندك قد إيه من الأوبجكت ده تمام that's why we use this tool here which is the balance okay we use the balance because we would like to do what guys we would like to measure okay the mass of the objects so i'm gonna put for example one two and three i'm gonna say we have like three apples here and you're gonna say the amount of matter is three apples and the mass could be maybe let's just say 500 grams 300 grams etc great i have some notes for you guys here Note number one, the mass depends on the amount of matter, okay? So, the mass of the object depends on the amount of matter. How is that? Because, guys, the mass of the object increases, okay, when the amount of matter increases. So, for example, if you're going to look at picture number one, we have one, two, three apples. We're going to say that these three apples are equal to, let's just say... Let's just say 1,000 grams, okay? And then we're going to look at the second picture here, and we have only one pineapple. We're going to say that this pineapple is equal to, let's just say, 100 grams, okay? So, as you can see, we have less mass, and that's why we have less amount. We have less mass because we have less amount of the object, okay? And we have more mass because we have more amount of the object. يبقى تاني يا جماعة كل ما زود ال amount of the object الماس بتاعه بيزيد وكل ما يكون عندي ال amount of the object أقل كل ما الماس بتاعه بيقل and that's why we said the mass of the object increases when the amount of matter increases يبقى ال amount of matter لما زاد الماس بتاعي زاد and vice versa لو ال amount بتاعي هيقل في الحالة دي يا جماعة هيكون عندي الماس قليل so again, guys, I'm going to erase this just once more. I'm going to say it once more for you guys. Okay. I'm going to say it once more. So the mass of the object increases when the amount of mass increases. يبقى لو أنا عندي number of apples هتزيد يبقى الماس بتاعها هيزيد. ولو number of apples هيقل يبقى الماس بتاعها هيقل. Okay. The second note that we have here for you guys is the mass does not change by changing the place. I'm going to tell you something. If this person is Adam, and this person is also Adam. Actually, both of them is one person, is the similar person. Now, their name or his name is Adam. Ismu Adam. Adam on the moon has the mass of, let's just say, 1500 grams the example here guys the one adam went to the moon his mass gonna be 1500 grams 
Adam, when he went to the earth, and we're going to measure his mass, going to be also 1,500 grams. Because the mass does not change by changing the place. If Adam mass on the earth is equal to the mass on the moon or any other place. If the mass does not change because the mass, what? Has a fixed value. If the mass, the value of the mass will not change. So the mass does not change by changing the place. If I'm going to go from any place to another place, my mass will not change. The mass of any object will not change. And finally, the mass has no direction. This part is very important. I'm going to talk about it once I'm going to talk about the weight because I'm going to compare the mass and the weight in this point because weight has direction. I'm going to talk about this once I start talking about the weight. You want to say, Isaac, keep in mind, the mass has no direction. When we talk about the weight, okay? Great. So, I would like you to ask yourself this question. So, the mass of a pen on Earth equals its mass on moon. Why is that? We just said, guys, that if Adam was on the moon, he will have 1,500 grams. And if we're going to send him on the earth, it will still have 1,500 grams. So he will have what? Will have, sorry, the same mass. Because what? Yes, that's right. Because the mass does not change by changing the place. The mass does not change by changing the place. Great. So I'm going to give you another question here. Are you ready, guys? Wonderful. The second question is, the mass of an object does not change from one place to another. If, for example, if I have a dog here, and this dog, guys, on Earth, and his mass is one kilogram, and then I'm going to look at the same dog, the same dog, okay? I'm going to send it to the moon, and he will have one kilogram as a mass. Why is that? Because we said something important, which is the mass has fixed value. The mass will not change. Great? Wonderful. And then we're going to look at this picture. We have a balance and we have two units. We have grams and we have kilograms. And of course, you studied this amazing units before, guys. And you know, of course, that one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. So why I'm talking about kilograms and grams? Because, yes, you guessed it, the measuring units of the mass are gram and kilogram. So we use gram and kilogram to measure the mass. Wonderful. And now we're going to talk about very important concept, which is the gram and the kilogram is equals to what? You have to tell me something, guys. If I'm going to tell you, what do you know about the gram? What are you going to say? Now, when I am a younger brother who does not know the meaning of the gram, in this case, you're going to tell him that the gram is pretty much equal to the mass of one paper clip. If you want to give him one paper clip, you will tell him one paper clip is about one gram. This is about one gram. But if I have a younger brother who does not know the meaning of kilogram, how can I tell him the meaning of that? You're going to tell him that if we have one liter of water, okay, this one liter of water is equal to, yes, one kilogram. Wonderful, guys. And then I would like you to look at these pictures. Of course, you saw the balance before. And you know that this is a balanced scale. And we have another picture here, which is sensitive Two arm scale. Okay, we have one and we have two. And that's why we said two arm scale. And we said sensitive. You studied this, guys, in the fourth grade. And you know that sensitive scale is used when you want to measure something pretty small, like, for example, gold, silver, etc. So, why I'm talking about balance scale and sensitive two arm scale? Because, yes, guys, you guessed it, because these types of scales are used to measure what? Yes, the mass. So we use balance scale and sensitive to arm scale to what? To measure the mass. This is very important point here. And then we have another two new balances or scales. We have something called one arm digital scale. Yep. And the second one is 
one arm scale with a pointer this is a pointer guys so these two are pretty new for you i know that so we have digital scale digital and this is one arm as you can see one arm digital scale and we have one arm scale with a pointer and these two are what yes you guessed it also scales that we use to what to measure the mass so we have four types of scales we have what we have balance scale we have sensitive two arm scale we have one arm digital scale one arm scale with a pointer and these are what yes these are scales that we use to measure the mass wonderful and this is part one and uh Keep waiting guys because we're going to talk about the weight in the second video. Thank you so much for watching.